All right, what's up everybody? I know it's been a while since I made a video. I've been doing some things, putting a bunch of lights in the garage, trying to get things finished up around here. Uh, but today what we're gonna do is delete this bad boy right here. And what we're gonna be using is this bad boy from Houston Speed Freaks. It's kind of a new item that he came up with. Uh, he got the dimensions from a guy on the forum. The guy's name is Richard. Uh, he went ahead and got the dimensions to the guy at Houston Speed Freaks for this and Travis started putting these things out. Of course, I bought one to try. Didn't know how I felt about a rear wiper delete. I know it looks clean and I like the look of it without the rear wiper. I uh, really didn't like the other kits. Didn't like the cost of the other kits. I'm wanting to say that from Houston Speed Freaks was like $36 maybe. Uh, I'll post a link in the description below for exact pricing and all. Uh, and he got it out to me within five business days from me ordering it. So really smooth transaction, paid for it through PayPal. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it out since this one's kind of reversible. First things first, you just lift up on this bad boy. Sometimes this is really pushed down, snapped hard, and you have to pop it. Uh, I had to pop it a little bit. It's got a little lip, no big deal. This is a 13 millimeter. You take this wiper arm. I've already had this arm off once before because I uh, put CarPro Deluxe ceramic coating on all this plastic. Uh, but when you take the bolt out, all you need to do is grab onto this end here and then use the wiper arm and just kind of rock it back and forth gently. And as you're rocking it back and forth, be pulling up and it will eventually come, loosen up and come off. Uh, it just has these splines and it's a tapered. Come on. Let's see if I can get the focus. It's a tapered fit and it has those splines. So just be gentle with it and it'll come off in one piece. Don't get impatient. This is what you'll be left with. Now it's time to go ahead and pop this hatch open. Basically, there's just a bunch of clips that hold all this stuff on. Gently but firmly yank on it and all the clips will come out. And it's just clips all the way around. So I'm gonna get all this pulled off and then we're gonna look at what this bad boy, you got one wired connection here, don't forget about that. It's kinda, I took these pieces off. Uh, they will remain on the larger piece if you wanna take it off all as one piece. This is where it comes unclipped from the larger piece. I just didn't want them flopping around while I was getting the larger piece off. This is where all your clips are on the larger piece. And the one wired connection, of course, for your button. Make sure you get that. You just press the little clip here and it pulls out just like any electrical connection. And you can get to the motor itself. Now on the motor itself, there's three bolts, 10 millimeter right here, right there, and right there. Take those out. Go ahead and get this wired connection off of here first. Get those out and just pull the motor through. Once you get the motor out, you'll be left with uh, this thing right here. A little rubber grommet. Just get to one side of it. And that just pulls right out of the glass. I see Ford left me with a bunch of extra goop that I got to clean up here. But other than that, it looks pretty good. So I placed the bolts back up into the holes and kind of screwed them in. I'm fixing to cut this bad boy off and get that ready to go and uh, put the connector here. I'm gonna take, I got some of this cloth tape uh, for wire loom. I'll wrap it around that a time or two to keep this from making noise in the future. Also, one more thing that I just kinda thought about is if it becomes a problem and I start turning the squirter on by accident, uh, it looks like the squirter comes up and goes into the wing area and then comes out of the wing area and also does the uh, rear camera where I'd like to keep my rear camera squirter. So if I start turning this on by accident or I notice at times it's coming itself on for the rear camera squirter, I might take this wing apart and find a plug uh, to go into the line there and just kind of plug that line so this will still work for the uh, squirter on the rear camera, but this quarter will no longer function and try to make it the way I want it all to be reversible in case I don't like it. So this is what it looks like at the moment. I went ahead and went around it and kind of 
scraped the surface with a razor blade. And then I also went around it with isopropyl alcohol, scrubbed it real good. And that's after I took that little turd off there that was left in the factory. Everything's nice and clean. It's been a few minutes after I scrubbed it with isopropyl alcohol. So it should be cleaned and ready to go. Now I'm not gonna film taking the backing off of this thing right here and uh, getting it placed up in there. Uh, but you wanna try to be as centered as possible in the hole. There is just a small amount of room uh, to play with. So you want it to be as centered as possible. And I'm also not going to go with the black RTV around it for this go around. And uh, if it falls out or whatever, then me and Travis can have some problems. Just kidding, Travis. I'll just order another one from him and use the RTV for that one. <laughs> but it should be fine. I mean, we've got a good amount of 3M tape around here. Uh, I might go across the back here once I get it installed and put a uh, piece of 3M double-sided, just don't remove the back side of the backing, just kind of give it a little more support. Uh, but other than that, this should be good. I don't plan on pressing on this thing. So there it is. I went ahead with this double-sided tape uh, and put across the back just to give it a little bit extra, you know, structure behind it. Uh, I've got this thing wrapped up, cloth top, keep it as quiet as possible. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put these panels back on. We'll see what- So going. there it is. All installed, ready to go. Looks good. It's pretty freaking flush. Only way you can really see is where they cut the, the, the hole in the glass from the factory. Uh, the edges aren't totally black and that's because there's no tint in those areas, but I think she looks pretty sweet. We'll try it out, see how it goes. If you got one, let me know how you like it. If you prefer with the wiper or without the wiper, I rarely even use mine, so might as well give it a shot. Thanks for watching. Uh, I still got H&R springs and other stuff to do to this bad boy. I've just been working on this house and basement and stuff. Got me a little sink over here. Got my pressure washer right here. So things are moving along, more videos to come, thanks.